These are some of the weirdest last meal requests from death row inmates. So James Edward Smith asked for a clump of dirt but was denied and instead given yogurt, and Gerald Lee Mitchell notably chose an entire bag of assorted Jolly Ranchers to suck on before his execution. Charles Rumbaugh chose to eat just a single flour tortilla, and Velma Barfield elected to have just a single can of Coca-Cola and some cheese doodles before her lethal injection took place. Stacey Lawton asked for a cheeseburger and fries, but also opted for an entire jar of pickles that he downed before his execution. John William Elliott asked for six chocolate chip cookies and a cup of tea, although he stipulated that they must have fresh tea bags. Not sure why he thinks he has the leverage here. Peter Menil has one of the largest last meals in history, asking for 20 tacos, two pints of ice cream, 20 enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a bucket of fried chicken, a pizza, and some fruitcake. And impressively, there's conflicting reports on if he actually finished it. And finally, Lawrence Brewer ruined last meals for all Texas inmates by asking for a concoction of chicken steak, fried okra, and a cheese omelet, only to say that he wasn't actually hungry. What a jerk.